all of a sudden I hear gunshots. I didn't understand what was going on. What was that? Hey! What? Welcome to the third and last part of this documentary series. In this episode, I will show you more about the Nigerian culture. What I will show you how out? Nigerians get their water, yeah, the how water. some celebrate Christmas. I will give you a deeper insight of life in Nigeria. <laughs> This is me, with my brothers and my mother on our way to Nigeria. It is a six hours direct flight from Amsterdam to Lagos. It is funny that you can be in such a different world within just six hours. Eindelijk, na tien jaar. Place to be. Er gaan ook heel veel moois komen, dat is sowieso. These are some scenes in Lagos. We are on our way to Ikorodu, where we will stay a few nights before heading to Benin City, the city where I was born. Hey, which which for the shine? We zijn er, we zijn er, we zijn er. You will know these children by now, the children of our neighbors. This was the moment we saw them for the first time. Here you can see Yanu, Junior, Bright, Good Luck, and Adaisi. It was a special feeling to be around these children because somehow I could recognize myself in these children. When I was six we left Nigeria and these children are around the same age. On our way to Benin City a car broke down. You can guess how many times. Hi, thank you. You guessed it right, five times. We're at the goat market where they buy, sell goats for celebration, birthdays, marriages. You see, it is common in Nigeria to either buy your own goats, cow, chicken, and other animals and prepare it for yourself or your family. It is also possible to just buy meat at a local market. For celebration, we decided to buy a goat. Yeah, that one gave me too. You saw? That one gave me The last black one. Let me check that one. The last black one. No, the black one. The last black one. That one has ram. Ram, ram, ram. Ram, ram, ram. How much now? How much now? How much for this one? And I give him 30. Put up for under, 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 under. See your boyfriend now. <laughs> That's the thing here. That's the Nigerian culture. It's like a tradition when you um, when you have something to celebrate, you buy a goat or a cow, and then you slaughter it, you cook it, and you prepare it for food for the family, friends, 
everything. So yeah. I know, I, I know. Yeah. Our coach is going to die today. Look at him. <laughs> the second process is to burn the goat. This is to make it easier to remove the skin. After removing the skin, the women will start to prepare the meat. <laughs> Welcome to Owere. We are currently at the masquerade for the Christmas celebrations. Every village here has its own type of masquerade. It is a celebration whereby everybody celebrates on the streets. There are shows, there is music, there is food, and there are a lot of cultural traditions as the one that you can see right now. One of the things that they do during celebrations like this is to shoot with a gun in the air. Both civilians and the police were doing this. At first I didn't understand what was going on, but it is common and it is a part of the festive. What you are seeing next is part of the masquerade show. With his bare hands and feet, a man climbs the top of a palm tree and has to remove all the leaves on top of this palm tree. He will then climb down and is not allowed to touch the ground with his feet. He will be welcomed down and the people will carry him. I want to stay behind because not everybody will stay here. See him. Don't finish you. You don't finish now. Now you come down. I want to work on him down. <laughs> as he's coming down now, they yeah. will carry him. If they did not carry him, uh, they will touch his ground. Okay. Huh? It was not touch ground. The legs will not be touch ground. See, the other one is giving him problem. And he must remove it, whether good or bad. Yeah, he must remove all, which is all. Uh, else he will not come down. Yeah. Huh? It is said that he is in a sort of trance and that the palm tree will not survive. This is part of the cultural tradition in this specific masquerade. Every village has their own individual tradition. Palm tree will never survive again. After some time, it will dry. For you. This is our African root medicine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is African medicine. The root, you see, is made of different kinds of uh, roots. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Come from different kinds of trees. Trees. Combining it together. Just 
not unlike any other uh, English medicine. Do you understand me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like yeah, that's true. Cure, yeah. Like this one. Cures malaria. Come. You have to see here. Malaria. This one. And typhoid. Oh, really? Malaria yes. and typhoid. If you want to. Uh, but this is all roots. Yeah. Roots. They're all roots. But you have to drink it, or you. Yeah, you drink it. Drink it. Okay. Drink Normally. It. You see it? They are good herbs. Okay. Nice. And then you, you can find the plant somewhere, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. But how do you know which one is good for which one? No, this is the doctor now. Oh. This is the doctor. It is an inspiration. Not everybody that knows it. Ah, okay. Do you understand me? You know the secrets. It is a gift and oh. it is a secret. Yeah. Known to him. Yeah. I don't know it. You don't know it. He knows it. Okay. Yeah. Any different. So both manner so arthritis, infection, any we all kinds of infection. Okay. Gonorrhea, syphilis, everything. Everything. Do you understand me? Now, this one is for typhoid and malaria. Okay. You don't need to take tablets. No. You take maybe one shot or two shots. Yeah, uh, come on. According to prescription. That's very good. Okay. So let's go to the marketplace. Thank you. Yeah. All right. I have other uh, imagination about the real life here. Yeah. Yeah, this is Tokyo. I think many people have not seen Tokyo as I've seen. See this big one. Hey, hey. You understand me? Maybe in Europe, you see them when they've already been prepared. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. They did not see them alive. No, yeah, not like this. Yeah, this one, the small one. This is local chicken. This is agro. You understand me? Mm -hmm. This is local chicken. What's the difference? Huh? The difference is that this is bred from a local breed. Yeah. You understand me? Why this one is being hashed? Uh, a hybrid. From hybrid? English, yes. So this is a real one? Yeah, this, this is a real one. Native, uh, you understand me? This is native, native one. Yeah. And this is a hybrid? Yeah. This is an English one. English one. English one. See, okay, you want to... Let's go there. You want to see how big it is. <laughs> it's too big. Thank you. Wow. You see? You see? Wow. <laughs> Are you surprised? Yeah. How do people in Nigeria get their water? Uh, we, we, we sink borehole. Everybody is digging borehole. This is a borehole now. This is, you can see overhead bridge, over, overhead tanks. One, two, three. That are the tanks. And what does the borehole do? It provides uh, stock water for people to use. You can see now, I'm pumping it now with a generator. Since there's no light, there's no light anywhere. So we use generator to pump the water from the ground. The water is coming right from the ground. So it's pumping out now, it's going up. If you can feel it, you can feel the force of the pump. It's shaking. You can feel it is shaking. So you can watch. The water is climbing up. So when the two tanks are, the three tanks are filled, I will off it just like this. This one, you can see, it's shaking. It's coming down now to this tank. So that's the that's the source of our of us getting water here in Nigeria. But where does the water come from? It comes from the ground. It's come from the ground. And how deep, how deep. deep? It's very deep. Very, very deep. They use machine to, to, to sink it. Okay. That's a big machine they sink it with. It's very deep. The pool is very, very, I can't even tell me how many centimeters, how many meters down. Okay. It's very, very deep. Like if you have this, this is a pipe. This is a pipe. You can get this one, 15 of this, like this. You can see how tall it is. 15 of this pipe down. 15 of feet of this pipe like this. You can, you can imagine how long, how deep it is. Oh. And that's before the water comes out. So does that mean that 
everywhere in Nigeria under the ground is full with water. Yes, yes, yes. God bless us with water. God bless Nigeria with but water. But if you are digging it, what do you see then? You see different type of... Oh, God is great. When you are digging it, you see different type of species, different type of sand. You get the first sample, red sand. You have like almost 15 or 16 type of sand on the ground. The machine will be bringing it out before it to get the white, the pure white sand that contains water. Do you need permission to build this? No, 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 no. If you have your house, you can do it. Because the government have fed now, so there's not, they're not providing water. So everybody now is on safe help. So the government is not doing anything. They're safe. And if you don't have the money to dig a borehole? Even if you don't have money to dig a borehole, you can give, your neighbors can give you water. Okay. Uh, your neighbors, they can cross the house. Good. Your neighbors suppose they can come and fetch water. The people in here in Nigeria, people are not stingy with water. Because it's a free gift from God. It's all expensive. But to do this in Nigeria, it's expensive. It's not much about 400,000, 500,000 to do it. Okay. Uh, but if you don't have water, you can go to your neighbor, they will give you water. They're not stingy. Nigeria loves their safe aspect. You will have fresh water forever because it doesn't end. And the water that is here is pure water. It's a very good type of water that the people in Nigeria have. They're really blessed to get this type of water from out of the ground. Mini. And fresh firewood. We we'll use it to cook. <laughs> well, how do you balance it on your head? I just balance it like, look at it. I know hold it. And I can use it to walk. <laughs> because you grew up in a village. Yes, because I grew up in a village. <laughs> I caught a fresh firewood. I want to use it to cook for my children. <laughs> okay, you go, should let's go now. I mean, you don't want to. Okay. It rains in Nigeria, it rains very hard, as you can see. Thunder, rain. And this is the end of the raining season, as they say. Due to the severe rain and wind, different wooden poles for the electricity cables were either broken or fell down. Yeah. We are waiting for the KK. No KK. KK. There it is. Keke is a common vehicle in Nigeria that has been used for the means of local transportation. It is an important aspect for the local people in villages and cities. Go fit us. Go fit us. Go fit us. Yes, yes, yes. It can accommodate three people, excluding the driver. But hey, we are in Nigeria, so you can add two more people. Because of its size, it's easier to drive to the typical off-road parts in Nigeria.
After the severe rain, different roads were unavailable to pass and they were full with water. We managed to pass these ones, the bad roads, if you can call them roads. They are still a big issue in Nigeria. Good morning. We are now in Benin City. And as you can see, there's a lot of fog, a lot of dew, uh, and that means that the Amatan has arrived. The Nigerians call it the Amatan, and it's actually like the transition period between the raining season and the dry season. So it actually means that from now on, it's not going to rain anymore, uh, and the dry season has uh, officially started. Uh, so that means that it will be like this for a few hours, and then the sun will come and it will be super hot so i'm enjoying this 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 slightly breeze for the family here they they think it's very cold but uh, it's actually pretty nice um so that's the amatan for for nigeria Together with my uncle, we went to see the trap that my other uncle had made. It is a trap to catch different types of animals that could be used for consumption. So it's in Tahiana, eh? My hand in Tahiana, eh? Eh? Mm -hmm. It will just go up. Boom. If in Tahiana. Mm. And this is the trap. If I if it see this in this thing now will come down. Yeah. This thing now will come down. Boom, your hold it like your creak your, your hand. It yeah. cannot go off. What did they do this for? It's for animals, bush meat. Even snake, you can catch. If snake pass here, eh? This thing will come down. This thing will go up. It will catch the snake. It's a local uh, trap. That's the trap. Yeah, the trap. Yeah. That's the trap. It's winter here. You see, you see it. Have you seen it? Yeah. Boom. Sheesh. Ah, <laughs> mm, that's it. They eat bush meat. Yeah, for bush meat. One thing I noticed in Nigeria was the amount of trash lying around. I asked my uncle, "What do you guys do with all this trash?" They burn the trash. Whoa! What was that? Hey! What? What was this side? Watch out, though. Hey! It's gas inside. Whoa, you heard that? What was that? You know? It's Hit my ear, eh? What's it? What's that, eh? The sound. No man, yeah. This is my uncle, Uncle Ino, the man who made the trap and the man who prepared the goat. He went at night to the bush to find snails. Snails are a popular dish in Nigeria. Yeah, this is what is called snail. This is the big one. The mother of snail. Oh, this one is the big one. Oh, this one's. And also this. In and out. Also this. Yeah. 
So where do you catch them? I catch this one in the bush. This one, this one. This is the mouth. I want to pull out more. Is it sweet? Yeah, it's very sweet. You must now here. Wash it. Fast, fast. Move it fast. You can take it. Mix pepper soup. Any type of soup you can even take it. Cook. Yeah. Where are we now? Where, if you if you can watch, this is a bit of Benin Bros Fast House Worldwide Heritage Site. They are mainly, their main occupation is for casting, hard work, browsing of casting material. They use wood, they use clay, they use chalk. Yeah. It's one of the oldest city in Edo State, Nigeria. It's Igu Street, Benin City, Edo State. And they make it with their hands? They make it, no, no machine, they always use their hands. They are talented, they have a talent, they use their hands to do the casting, they structure by yourself. Yes. Yeah. Let's go and watch. Okay. It's a popular street. It's one of the oldest streets in Benin City, Nigeria. So this is their main occupation. As of those days, even till now, the tourists, all part of the world, the tourists, they call Americans, Germans, Holland, Netherlands, Spanish. Whenever they come to Nigeria, they always come here to take to, documentary. To buy this stuff. Yeah. Over there. They want to know how come they are doing it. Yeah. They inherited it from their parents. Oh, yeah. They learned them? Yeah, they, le they learned it from their parents, from their forefathers. Ah. And most of them are still doing it. They are even teaching their children today how to, today how to do it. They are very creative. Yeah. They are very creative. I have to find somebody to talk to. Okay, let's talk to this man here. Okay. Will he give us some? We'll talk to the man, Carvin, yeah. to ask him some questions about how they do it. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Ine Aishosa and I'm from Igun, where I reside now, and we are into bronze casting. What, what does that mean, bronze casting? Bronze casting. Um, it's it's one of the oldest work you see on earth, mm. and it's mainly for Benin, and it it originated from Igun Street. So these are one of the work of bronze casting. It has been on for ages. Uh -huh. Bronze casting is mainly done by we the Iguns alone. Uh, but, but who are the Iguns? We we have we, it's a family work. Mm. The we have um, Ine family, Eanire family, Eama family, Akenua family, and Ine is the head of the bronze casting. So if you are not from these families, you can't participate in it. Really? If I'm from Benin and I'm not from this family, it's not possible? It's not possible. But you're still from Benin? Yes, we are from Benin. But we are, we are a family in Benin. And bronze casting served as, as a form of photography a long time ago mm -hmm. to keep memories of the Oba's event. That's where it started from. It doesn't get destroyed. It can stay like this forever. It can stay like this forever. Like this, this very one, this is the uni of Ife. This one has stayed here for more than 30 years. Oh. So. It doesn't get spoiled? It doesn't get spoiled. It's forever. The Oba's wife. Is it the, the current one? Or? No, it can't be the current one. No? No, you can't get the current one. This, this is the past one. Okay. And this is uni of Ife's face. Then, this is the first act. The normal first act you used to hear. So you have the similarities? Yes. Ah, this one first. Aha, uh -huh, say that one. How much is this one now? That one is uh, 3,000. 3,000. Street. People are selling clothes, hair, food, fish, 
and all kind of products. Lego Street beneath City. You can see it. What I like about Nigerians is that they're always busy finding money one way or the other. They're always hustling, always trying to get some change for themselves and for the family and to provide for themselves. And while they're doing that, they're still smiling. Even though it's very hard for them, and it's very hard for the Nigerian people, they're still managing. And you can see that in this place because there's so many, so many things going on right now. Like, everybody's just hustling. Everybody just finding food to put on the table. And tomorrow, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Let's just manage today, yeah? That's Nigeria for you. The real Nigeria. Nigeria. The place where I was born. Sometimes I ask myself, how would my life look like if we had stayed in Nigeria? There are so many good things about this country. There are so many opportunities. But there are also a lot of improvements needed. I want to thank you for watching my documentary series. I hope that you have gained some extra knowledge about Nigeria. Because creating awareness about Nigeria was my main goal of making this documentary series. Thank you again. No. And please, don't forget to smile today. My name is Chidi. Thanks for watching. And here, the new city. See this? This is Eba, Akpu, Fufu. You take it, you turn it like this, or like this, you most do like this. You dip it in the soup, stew, whatever. This, this Nigeria for you.